Afternoon boys and girls, you're with Mighty Mark down here at the shop. We're working on a Bobcat 873 today. This is the first Bobcat I've owned and worked on. Didn't find a whole lot of videos on it, but look, I bought this thing. It was burnt up, uh, engine fire. I mean, hoses melted, air cleaner assembly melted, nothing left. Uh, engine, surprisingly, it's got the dutes in it. Uh, appears to be in pretty good shape, still turns free. But I knew I was going to have to remove the engine and hydraulic system, and there's just no helpful videos out there, so that's why I'm here to help you. That is what is left of the cooling fan assembly. That also, on either or side, one side is completely missing, but that's where you uh, fill your fuel, and on the other side, your hydraulic system. Now, looking at the engine and hydraulic system, they, it comes out as one assembly. I think it's probably the easiest way to do it. Again, there were no videos that were real helpful. So uh, here's a couple of tips that I uh, hope will help you guys out. We go into the bay here. Those two two mounts you see back in the rear here, those both are bushinged, bolts and nuts. Over here, bolt and nut with the bushing. On this back side, it was just a bushing back in there, rubber bushing. There was no nut and bolt that you had to get to to disconnect that, but uh, a myriad of hydraulic lines uh, that need to be, uh, you know, accessed and undone see that beautiful old fuel tank over there it was melted uh, and as well you can see the new one so that's what we'll be putting in here but we'll say back in back in this bay there's a one inch steel plate on each side you have to get those bolts out so that you remove those plates uh, to get that fuel tank removed has found any of this helpful or not click on my link like my page you help me out, I'm going to continue to try and help you guys out. God bless you guys. If I can do it, as a lot of people seem to say, you probably can too.